All right, balancing my phone, which looks like Leo's probably gonna knock over at any minute, but you can see this brace going from the floor to the ceiling has been holding up this wall for us to get our big rim joist in. So we are gonna remove all of this. We have a four by four in, so we have a big support post, and then we have one more full stud in there. So we're gonna remove all of the jacking and put the entire weight of the house on our new beam. So one minute trip. We're gonna take this out. No, that bracket. You're just gonna tilt. You're just gonna let that fall. Mm. Ceiling fell about an inch, but it's holding. Well, our new big beam on the ground is officially holding the weight of the house again. Is there a lot of pressure on that one? There is. Good. So we had to pour about three inches of concrete. There's a big corner stone there. There's a big stone that is supporting the weight of this. So we basically just use concrete and some brick to make this nice and level. Because when they first built this house, it was actually balancing just between the rocks, which I like the idea of it touching in the whole length of the beam. But that big post right there is holding up most of the weight. We have that one in and then I'll have to remove that electrical. We'll sister up this whole board. And then this corner is a big support post, which we're gonna have to rip all of this insulation out. That post is pretty rotten, but it's a pretty important support. So we need to, so we need to change that out. But as you can see, this is daylight and some waspness. So this is what we're battling in this house is easy access for these insects. But this is the last big beam. We've gone all the way from one end of the house, all the way to the other, and then into the living room. So and then you can see this is completely reframed up until this window. So all we have left is this, whatever, 10 foot section. <laughs> 